today, a former Chula Vista councilwoman is expected to be sentenced this afternoon after she and her brother admitted to lying to the government to obtain pandemic relief funds and unemployment benefits. CBS 8's Kelly Hesedal joins us from the downtown courthouse where Andrea Cardenas is scheduled to appear in just a couple of hours. Kelly. That's right, and this is after Andrea Cardenas uh, took a plea deal back in February. So the big question now is, uh, will she serve any jail time or will she be sentenced uh, to probation in order to pay fines? Now, meanwhile, we've also learned that a separate uh, state political ethics investigation is going on right now as well. Uh, so we do have some video of Andrea uh, Cardenas uh, when she was last in court. Take a look at this video. Uh, she entered guilty pleas to two counts of grand theft, and she admitted to lying on her application to ED to collect unemployment benefits, and she admits to lying to the Small Business Administration to collect a PPP loan. Now, she stepped down from her Chula Vista council seat after serving less than a single term. Meanwhile, her brother Jesus Cardenas entered guilty pleas as well. Uh, he was sentenced in March and avoided jail time altogether. Instead, he served 45 days in a residential halfway house, uh, was ordered to serve two years probation, and ordered to pay restitution. Now, today's sentencing comes as uh, we're learning that in May, the state Fair Political Practices Commission opened an investigation into a political action committee tied to Andrea Cardenas. A spokesperson for the commission couldn't speak uh, specifically about this case, but told me in general terms, if it's determined someone committed violations, uh, there's a potential to be fined thousands of dollars. He says these cases can sometimes lead uh, to criminal charges. He says it just depends if an attorney general or a district attorney decides to go down that road. So today's sentencing is scheduled for one 30 this afternoon. I will be in the courtroom and let you know what happens. Kelly Hassett, all CBS 8.